Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in the previous video, I showed you how to um, to install the layer slider um, plugin in the Ultrashop theme. In this video, I will add a a slider to our to our theme. Uh, I'm working on my local host now, but I just uh, I just installed the um, the theme. I um, added the dummy content, so you can see here I have all the basic dummy content, and I have no sliders because I haven't added one. So let's just go back and sort of uh, go through quickly what we did. Um, basically we just went to our home options, I'm just going to change this to fixed and we went to our slider and we picked our layer slider just, uh, chose whether or not we want to uh, display it our border um, the height of the slider, I like to leave it 400 pixels, it's a nice height and uh, we just saved our changes and we installed the layer slider through the plugins and it shows here and let's just go back to our home page I'm, I'm just gonna refresh this and here we go we we'll don't have any slides because we, don't, we haven't added one yet so I'm gonna really quickly just go through it and um, add that slide so basically first things first we'll go to, we're gonna go to a layer slider uh, you, if you change the height of your slider you wanna change this height and pretty much I don't uh, I don't really change anything um, on these options, I just changed the height, which is a default. So make sure you create a new slider, by the way. That's um, you can name whatever you want. Um, yes, and for that, what we're gonna do now is add a new layer. Um, by adding a new layer, pretty much is a new slide. And uh, I've got a um, few images uh, images already that I'm gonna add to that slide. And pretty much the slide that we're gonna be doing is it this light here, the third one. So basically we have our background image, that WordPress logo sort of transparent coming um, in the background, the Ultra, the Sharp, and the WordPress 3.2. So here we have one, two, three, four, five images to, to set. And let's get started. All right, so for the first slide, I've got my images here, which is basically the Sharp logo, the uh, background, the Ultra, um, part of the logo, um, I'm just going to put this up here a bit, um, a WordPress logo which is that really faded WordPress um, logo in the background and a WordPress 3.2 plus. Um, so first things first, let's add our our um, background. So basically this uh, layer property is the background, we're just going to sort of click on the uh, image and sort of drag this here. So you drag it there, just, it's going to upload and then we're just going to insert into post and then there's our background. So here we have a live preview of our, of our, uh, of our slide. I'm going to add a new sub layer which is the images on top of that. So um, I'm going to add an image and my image will be the WordPress logo which is the faded WordPress logo. I'm just going to click and drag it over here. It's going to upload, insert into post and there we go. Um, now here it's quite easy, I really like this slide because you can just click and drag whatever you want. And so this will be the final position. Now what we want to do is we want to set on how, where it comes in from and where, where it lives, leaves to. So a slide direction will be, I want it to go from um, bottom to top. And I want it to come in uh, 300 milliseconds later. Uh, one thing that's actually quite useful is this delay out field because basically when the, the when the slide leaves, we want the background to stay there for a period of time until all uh, all of our elements have left. So I usually like to leave this at 1200. I'm just going to leave it there. We've got a WordPress logo. Now what I'm going to do is add the Ultra Sharp um, logo here, the um, the um, the actual typography. So I'm going to add a new sublayer, which is also an image. I'm just going to click here. I'm going to add the ultra first. Sort of just um, insert into post. Click and drag here. So I want it more or less in the middle. Um, also, make sure you set um, the d direction where it's going to leave to. So the WordPress logo is going to leave from the bottom. It's going to go to the bottom again. And it's going to take 300, mil um, let's put that 200 milliseconds to leave. So once the um, the whole delay, the four seconds are over, it's going to take 200, it's going to wait another 200 milliseconds for it to leave. And our ultra, I'm just going to um, set, I want it to come from the top. And I want it to wait a little longer. So I'm going to put 350 
and our D layouts. Um, I'm gonna put 150 for the uh, for the WordPress logo and 300 for the Ultra. So that's our Ultra is there. I'm gonna add a new sub layer, which is a sharp um, type, which is this one. And I'm just gonna sort of drag here. It's gonna upload. We're just gonna set into post. And it's going to be there. Now we're just going to drag and drop it over here so it's more or less aligned. I'm going to put this a little bit to the left. And it's more or less aligned. Um, same thing, coming from the top, leaving from the uh, to the bottom, bottom as well. And I want it to come together with the Ultra. So I'm going to put 300, same values, so 350 and 300. And now the only thing that we have to do is put our WordPress 3.2 plus. I'm going to add a new sub layer, uh, a new image. Uh, we have here our WordPress, which is a very small thing, but it sort of looks good, so we're going to add that anyway. Uh, insert into post. It's going to come here at the top. Just going to sort of like align that. Now, I think we're going to actually put that from the top as well and live into the bottom, but I want that to come before the ultra and the sharp. So our delay in, I'm going to put um, maybe 150. And I want it to leave before the Ultra Shop so the Ultra Shop doesn't overlay it. So I'm going to put uh, maybe 200. And OK, let's just, um, OK, so here I have a, uh, this is the final slide. So I'm just going to go ahead and save changes and see how that's looking. Um, I haven't tested this before, just so you guys know. So I have no idea how that's going to look like. I'm just going to refresh this. And when it loads, there's a slide. Um, for some reason, uh, that's that's because I, it was a fresh install. That wasn't that. That's not what what you guys are getting. Uh, you guys come with the um, sorry with this um, with a with a custom with a def, uh, custom theme. I just uh, uploaded something I wasn't supposed to. But anyway, let's just see how that goes. And so you you can see you just play around with it. But that's pretty much how it's done. And actually, one more thing that's quite um, important, the slide direction. So I want this to come from the bottom. So pretty much, I want the background to sort of come from the bottom and just um, instead of coming from the left as it, as it is right now. So I'm just going to save those changes. And refresh. And it's going to reload, and then let's just see how it goes. So you can see now, there we go, that's a layer slide. That's that's how you do the slide. It's fairly simple, you can just drag and drop. Um, the buttons right now are a bit messed up, but that's because I used the default um, plugin. The plugin that you have in your download file actually comes with this, uh, with, a proper, with a proper skin. So you, you don't have to worry about that. Um, I hope you guys uh, sort of get how, how it works now. Um, it's not really hard at all. If you guys have any troubles, just send me an email. On the documentation, there's uh, links. You can send me an iMessage as well, getting real feedback on when I read the messages. And thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll, um, you'll get this to work. Thanks a lot.